<laughs> Good morning. Um, <clears throat> it's uh, it's late. Um, it's quarter to four a.m. I was up at two, you know, uh, per usual. And um, I did my morning walk, you know, how I go outside and just get some fresh air and just the peace and quiet in my neighborhood, right? Did a little walk out on the driveway like I usually do and just kind of looking at the neighborhood, you know, looking for robbers and stuff. No, the, my neighborhood is actually very safe, you guys. And by the way, um, Thanks for your comments about your concerns about me holding up medicine bottles and my wristband and stuff. But yeah, I checked and there's nothing identifying on there other than my name. And uh, and just so you know, excuse me, I'm not going to edit that out. I'm just, I'm a human on the planet, right? Um, once in a while, I'll throw in something really quick, like with um, Bandit. <laughs> <laughs> and I mentioned, you know, I'm not going to get my firearm and shoot him. He's just looking for a place to live, right? But I do I do kind of throw out there once in a while that, yeah, I do have a firearm, you know? So please don't worry about me. Um, and for me, and I don't know how you feel about guns. I get it. Um, I was very anti-gun, like most of my life. I was you know, scared of them. But then it's like... I'm the kind of person where a new skill um, to me is always kind of a good thing. And I've always been kind of, well, kind of interested. And so, um, yeah, I just, I go to the range once in a while. It's, it's a hobby. It's, you know, accuracy and improving your, you know, well, <laughs> it's really unfair because I put a laser sight on mine. So it's really easy. Like, you know, there's, <laughs> it's like fishing in a barrel, right? But anyway, so blah blah blah. Um, yeah, don't don't worry about me, guys. Um, I yeah, I'm in a very safe, quiet neighborhood. We all watch out for each other, and yeah, it's really cool. But now here's the thing. Um, I was outside on the driveway, peace and quiet, right? Um, the moon. It's quarter to four in the morning. The moon. It's about half moon, not full moon. You know. Um, it was gorgeous. It was orange, but it was right above the house line, you know, right above one of the houses in my neighborhood. Right. So the moon is just rising. It's, it's in the East. East is that way. Uh, North is that way. South is that way. West is that way. The moon should be like over there by now. It's quarter. To, I mean, sunrise is in like three or four hours right so it's gonna take it has to you know i'm i'm confused you know why is it well, well you're confused most of the time well you know you know what here's the thing ava um someone commented that you're well he didn't say annoying but he said you're getting old really quick so old well, yeah, that's what he said. Um, so, and I, I get it, you know. Um, she's she's not for everyone's taste, okay? So. Well, get over it. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> but, so, I told you guys before about this app I have on my phone called Skyview. It's really cool. You can take your phone, go outside at night, you know, at night. And point it up at the stars, and it'll tell you what, or planets, it'll tell you what it is, right? I mentioned this before in a previous video. I don't know if I can do this, but um, the glare from the light ring is really annoying. But it'll show you, like, constellations and stuff. Uh, it's, it's really cool. So anyway, I pointed it at what I thought was the moon... You know, it's, it's got to be the moon, right? And, and it said, yeah, it's the moon. But how does it go in, in three or four hours? How does it go all the way from the east, like east, southeast, all the way over there before the sun comes up? I'm confused. So, <laughs> oh, no, wait. No, you can see the sun and the moon at the same time. 
I'm just I'm just processing this now. <laughs> so disregard. It was confusing. It's coming up in the east. So anyway, <laughs> all right. Now um, I asked you guys if the intros were a waste of time and whatever, and and some of you chimed in. No, no, we love we love the sponsors, you know. So and they love you too, by the way. So um, <laughs> Ava, you ready? Sure. All right, let's go. <laughs> let's let's give them another one. <laughs> This episode of The Mad Camper has been sponsored by NQRB. We're not quite right. C major. Go down by <laughs> no, um, Ava, we can't, and, and those of you that are annoyed with Ava, like, get over it, but Ava, we can't have NQRB, the Not Quite Right Brass, as a sponsor. Why not? Well, we don't have any money. I mean, I think we have like $7 in checking right now. I mean, these hats were expensive. I had to, I had to buy like six of them, one for each guy, right? So, you know, we don't have money, so... <laughs> Um, so anyway, you guys, I mentioned NQRB, like, I don't know, long time ago, like <laughs> three weeks ago. So anyway, just to give you a little taste. Now, what I was planning on doing, and I still might, um, I was thinking about creating a whole different YouTube channel for NQRB with the idea that I'm going to be playing brass quartets, right? Easy brass quartets. And I'm going to publish the sheet music so that kids that are just starting out on these instruments can practice with my band, right? And, uh, <laughs> and uh, you know, I'm a weird little dude when I was growing up, right? So um, when I was like, I don't know, in junior high, you know, uh, whatever, you know, I, I played with myself. Um, um, no, that, uh, no, that, no, I had, my parents had one of these old Montgomery Ward tape recorders record and play at the same time right so i had brass trumpet duets so i would record one part rewind and then play along with it and that actually really helped my you know my skills so i kind of want to do the same thing for kids you know starting out and there's of course there's going to be jokes and stuff you know i kind of have an idea for <laughs> yeah ideas i have um i have i have a few ideas <laughs> you know, each each band member is going to have a different character, you know. Um you might see it later, but anyway, uh let's um yeah, let's keep going. <laughs> well, you know, actually this is, you know, this is getting long enough. Um I might cut it off here. I'm kidding. <laughs> By the way, really quick, I have a new rule. I don't post a new video until I'm all caught up with your comments, all right? Um, oh, dang it, there's another one. Uh, no, it's not, it's not, dang it. <laughs> you guys, um, I keep saying it over and over, but it's like you have been so supportive and, you know, kind of coming to my defense, you know, if someone is like, 
if someone misunderstands this channel, which is what happened, I'll talk about it later. But um, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right? Yeah. Um, I uh, just came in from outside again, and <laughs> I figured it out. So the moon is, and sorry I'm going off on this, I'm interested in like the Earth's rotation and where I am in Minnesota. The Earth is actually rotating like this. It's, I don't know, it's science. So, all right, now, um, I went out there and it makes sense. The moon is not going like this. It's, it's going like this. It's just doing a short little... <laughs> Sorry, you guys, you know, and they and they say chemo can affect, you know, so my cognitive functions might be a little off right now. Okay, so I'm just saying, right, Ava? Nah, uh, uh. Now, if you're new to the channel, um, I feel like I need to kind of clarify a little bit. Um, the purpose of this channel, yes, I, I have pancreatic cancer, all right? We're waiting for the results from my last surgery, which was to determine, it was exploratory, right? Uh, they did some little biopsies and stuff, and uh, we're waiting for the results, whether I'm stage one or stage four, if you're new to the channel, all right? <clears throat> the purpose of this channel is to document procedures I'm going through, the CT scan, what that was like, the MRI, what that was like, my experience, right? And... A lot of my viewers are suffering. A lot of viewers found me early on because they did a search on pancreatic cancer or whatever, or I just showed up in their feed randomly. I don't know why, but so a lot of my viewers, I have like a core group now, which you guys, mm, okay. Uh, but so some of my content is just me telling funny stories as entertainment and in my mind if I can bring a smile or if I can brighten someone's day a little bit someone who's suffering then mission accomplished this is all worth it right does that make sense so if you jump into the middle of a video and I'm just acting goofy and like one of the videos where I was explaining like my surgery, my day of surgery, and it's just nonstop laughter. Well, you know, uh, and some of my videos are really, really goofy. I'm scared. All right. And um, you can talk to any stand up comic and they'll tell you comedy is a coping mechanism for like trauma and, you know, stuff like that. So not to not to get all depressing and stuff right now, but I'm just saying. I'm, I'm, I'm just, that's my personality. I, I love telling stories and I love, I enjoy making people laugh. Um, not forcing, not forcing it. You have to be really gentle and careful, right? But so anyway, I just wanted to clarify, I'm probably going off on this like ad nauseum, but um, yeah, so I just wanted to clarify if, if you jump into something and I'm acting really goofy, cancer is not funny, all right? I just want to add some little, some little, some little thing to someone's life. Okay. So, all right, enough of that. Um, so, uh, I was shooting videos, uh, yesterday and I put a video out and I said, um, that's enough for now, you know, uh, leave them wanting more. So, <laughs> right. Um, if you're new to the channel, my my videos are very sequential, all right? They're linear. They're, um, you know, so you almost have to go back from the beginning. I do have a playlist called Pancreatic Cancer. You can start from the beginning, and this whole thing will make a lot more sense, all right? So um, where was I? Oh, yesterday. So I did shoot some other clips. Um, and one quick thing. At the end of the last video, I mentioned in one of the outtakes, I said, if I have time after I do my plate, well, one of the clips I didn't include yesterday was I was talking about my dishwasher and the clip was like, I don't know why I bought a dishwasher. I, I live alone. It's a lot faster to do my dishes by hand. So I, I've got this nice Bosch dishwasher, 
but I do my dishes by hand anyway. I mean, it's like I'm single, like, you know, one plate, one fork, you know, it takes like five minutes. <laughs> so, oh, excuse me. So, all right, let's, uh, let's keep going. <clears throat> We have a winner. Um, uh, I did find another toy. <laughs> Sharon, you're the winner. Uh, Sharon was the first person to comment on the two chickens that are guarding the sauerkraut. <laughs> she says, she says, I'm not going to read her whole comment because it was really funny and really good. But she says, I'm glad to see you have a pair of chickens guarding your sauerkraut jars. <laughs> so, Sharon, you're a winner. Um, wish I could send you a prize. Actually, I could send you a prize. Um, I could send you... Wait, are these... Oh, these are. These are. I have... <laughs> I make... And I was planning on doing this when I go full-time on the road in my RV, right? And I was just going to give these away to fellow campers or whatever, but these are what I call homeless gerbil fire starters. Uh, they, I make these, okay? They're just... Um, and the reason, the reason that I call them homeless gerbil fire starters, I use that cedar mulch that... Um, I used to have gerbils as a kid. I was a redhead, so of, of course, of course I had gerbils. You know, the bedding in their cage like it was that cedar so that's what i use and then you just just mini muffin tin right and you put the you know and then you pour wax in there so anyway uh sharon email me your address and i'll act, i'll actually send you send you these all right <laughs> for free it's not a scam i'm not gonna i'm not gonna ask you to pay postage so if somebody does it's a scammer all right so <laughs> i went outside looking for bandit right <laughs> so i'm looking all over the yard i'm looking in the garden and i've got i went behind the garage i've got three big 55 gallon rain barrels back there plastic they're all connected together um that's a whole nother story um i use gravity fed uh irrigation for my garden so I've got two five gallon buckets mounted on, you know, eight feet high on a four by four post, right? And then PVC pipe comes down and little holes drilled in where it goes down each row in the garden, right? So I can turn them on and off. It's really cool, it works great. But um, so I'm behind the garage <laughs> and I hear like a little noise and then something darts out and runs into the neighbor's yard. Well, it it wasn't big. It was it was more like you know this. It was it was a black squirrel. I've got a couple of those that run around my yard, right? Um, so you know it's a black squirrel. So I'm like, yo, what up? You know, uh, no, now. <laughs> so um, anyway, yeah, and just really quick um, before I go on to some more funny stories, right? make brass great again in case anyone's wondering the orchestra or the band is either woodwinds brass or percussion right so woodwinds flutes clarinets saxes right brass is uh tuba baritone flugelhorn trumpet you know brass right so that if you're wondering what this is and by the way i do have a band Okay, um, I feel like I'm like three or four videos behind. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to respond to a comment, you know, and I've got other comments I want to respond to, you know, live on air, right? Because they're really good. So, you know, my core group, you guys, you know, you know who you are, right? But I've gotten some great comments that I want to respond to. Um, this is, uh, yeah, so comments and more funny stuff from yesterday that I shot, some other clips. And, uh, but this is getting kind of long. One of you commented that you like longer videos. So, so there you go. But one thing I want to say in all seriousness, you guys, in closing, um, 
if I ever, ever, and I'm not, I'm not apologizing for anything on my channel, like so far, right? Because I think we're doing the right thing here. And I think most of you would, would agree. But if I say anything that's like offensive or if I hurt someone's feelings or you just like, you know, you're watching the video and you're going, Ugh. please, please let me know. I'm serious. All right. Because that's the last thing I want to have happen on here. Right. It would it would really hurt me to think that I hurt someone else, especially someone who's suffering. All right. So um, I'm just being real. All right. So please let me know. Um, I can't imagine you know, but if it happens, like, please let me know. And I will apologize. All right. That's, that's just kind of, kind of who I am. Sorry about that. But so anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. Um, I need to go do my dish <laughs> and my fork. <laughs> so, um, yeah, there, yeah, I have to, yeah. So anyway, um, honey bun or yeah, honey bun, you've been really quiet today. You know, I mean, she's usually quiet, but how do you how do you feel about the core group here, honey bun? Yeah, see, there there you go. All right, thanks, you guys. I'll talk to you later. I've, I've used that before. I should quit doing that. Okay, <laughs> have a good day. Bye. <laughs>